Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 78. That is, what is test maturity model? Let me answer. Test maturity model in short TMM is nothing but a framework for assessing the maturity of software testing process. Using this TMM framework, we can evaluate the maturity level of software testing process that is followed by the projects. Why we have to assess the maturity level of software testing process followed by the projects with an intention of improving it, okay? If you can assess, we can improve it, right? That's the reason. So this TMM, that is test maturity model is based on capability maturity model, okay? Which is known as CMM, okay? This TMM is derived from CMM. So what is the difference between this TMM and CMM? While TMM is going to assess the maturity level of software testing process, while CMM is going to assess the maturity level of software development process, okay? CMM is going to assess the maturity level of software development process, whereas TMM is for assessing the maturity of software testing process. That's why I'm saying TMM is derived from CMM, okay? For CMM is there, from the TMM is derived. This for testing, this for development, okay? Assessing the development process, this for assessing the testing process, done. So this test maturity model, TMM, has five levels, okay? Five levels are there, five levels of assessment are there. Which project, okay? Which uh, project has the software testing process fall, uh, falling into these levels, okay? Depending on the maturity levels of software testing process used by different projects, okay? The projects may stand in level one, maturity level of software testing, okay? Level two, uh, software testing process maturity can be there. Level three, software testing process maturity level, okay? These are the different levels. Different projects may fall into different levels of maturity levels of following the software testing process in the projects, okay? So coming to the level one, when can we say that a particular project has a software testing process which falls into the level one maturity level? When it is in initial stage, okay? Level one means initial, initial, okay? Initial level. So uh, if a particular project uh, has some software testing process where uh, you're going to check whether software is running, just running, okay? When you are able to use the software or not, are you able to run the software without any blocks, okay? Without any uh, blockers, right? If you are able to use the software or not, that's what you are checking here. It's not a real software testing, but you are simply just using the software and seeing whether the software is working or not without any blockers or blocks, okay? So there is no defined testing process here, okay? You will not follow any proper testing process here in this uh, initial level. That is level one of a TMM uh, projects. So no quality checks before releasing software. Before releasing the software, okay? As part of level one, you're not going to check anything, okay? In such projects where the uh, quality checks are not being done before releasing software into the market, that particular projects are following software testing process, uh, maturity level as TMM level one, okay? Simple words, which is nothing but initial level. Coming, coming to the, uh, you see, here you are simply checking whether software is working or not without any blocks, okay? Blockers or blocks. Here there is no testing process already mentioned in level one. Then uh, no quality checks being before releasing the software, okay? You are not going to check anything before releasing software into the market. And also here, you are, uh, there is no proper testing process. Instead, whatever you are doing is uh, to see whether the software is running or not, uh, running or not without any blocks, will fall indirectly into the ad hoc testing process, okay? Ad hoc testing will be performed without any test proper testing process. So such kind of projects which are at the level one are like this, okay? They don't have a proper uh, testing process defined and uh, here we simply see whether we are able to run the software without any blockage. That is what is level one TMM, okay? So coming to the level two guys, okay? So level two means definition, okay? Definition. So in this, uh, in this kind of projects, uh, the software testing process will involve the, involve a thing where uh, you, will, uh, you will define the requirements here, okay? Definition means you are defining the requirements here, okay? In the initial, the requirements were not defined, but here in the level two, that is definition, definition TMM, that is level two TMM, such kind of projects following this TMM level two, okay, uh, having this maturity level of uh, software testing process, in that projects, requirements are defined, guys, okay? We will, de uh, we will define the requirements, and uh, accordingly, the test strategies, test plans, and test cases will be created, okay? Test strategies, in this level two, TMM uh, followed projects, test strategies, test plans, and test cases are created. And uh, testing again the requirements using test cases, okay? 
So here we are going to perform a proper testing, guys. Okay, here no process is there. In level one, there is no process, but here in level two, there is some process. Okay, here we are testing the application against the requirements using the test cases. Okay, by using this test strategies, test plans, and test cases, we are going to perform testing against to see whether the uh, software application is working according to the uh, defined requirements or not. We'll fine. Now coming to the level three, which projects uh, fall into the level three, okay? As part of software testing process, which projects will fall into level three? That is integration level, guys. So here, guys, in integration testing, uh, integration level uh, of uh, TMM, okay? Level three TMM. So here, what will happen is the uh, testing is integrated with software life cycle, okay? Testing is integrated with software life cycle and is performed independently after development phase here the testing is not performed independently okay so it's together here so it's not a separate entity so here testing is independent and which comes after which phase of a software life cycle development phase here test in level 2 the testing is there okay the testing is there but the problem is with the test cases we are testing here but the problem is it's not a independent thing okay testing is not uh, taken as a serious thing there here it is independently performed after the development uh, of the software is done then testing will start and it's performed independently okay independently and uh, it's now part of the software life cycle till now it's not part of the software life cycle guys but uh, from level 3 tmm following projects in level 3 tmm following uh, following projects uh, this kind of approach is followed where testing is integrated with the software life cycle and is performed independently after the development phase okay after the level development phase of SDLC, the testing will start and it's performed independently. That's the main thing. Here, testing is not performed independently, but here, testing is performed independently. Okay, here, developers, testers, maybe, okay, they will work as a team and do something, but it's not a separate thing. Okay, the developers may also perform testing here, but here, it's an independent thing, guys. Okay, so it's an independent team will be there and they are uh, separating the development activities from the testing activities and they are seriously testing. And now it is uh, seriously recognized in the software life cycle. Okay, here there is no particular place, but here in software life cycle, uh, there is a one phase like testing phase which comes after the development phase. Okay, such kind of projects which fall into the level three follow this uh, software testing process. Okay, where testing is independent and all. Okay, and is part of the software life cycle. Here the objective of the testing. Okay, in the level three, the objective of the testing is to manage risks. Okay, we are going to manage the risk. We'll reduce the number of defects, and uh, uh, after releasing the software into the market, uh, the risk should be reduced, guys. Okay, uh, the problem should be reduced before the software is released in the market. We'll we are going to identify most of the defects uh, with an intention of managing the risk after the software gets released in the market. Okay, so that's what is the level three, guys. Coming to the level four. Level four TMM is called as measurement and management level. Okay, till now we are not measuring the software testing process okay we are not measuring the testing how much testing is being done and all those things we have not measured but here in level 4 testing is measured guys okay till level 3 the testing is me not measured but in level 4 testing is measured and uh, here testing becomes part of all activities in software life cycle here only one phase of software testing here testing is only one phase of software life cycle which comes after the development phase in level 3 and is performed independently here also testing is performed independently but thing is that testing becomes part of all activities in software life cycle okay all activities means what across all phases in software life cycle that is uh, in the um, during the requirements phase design phase coding phase okay we'll review the requirements we'll we'll review the designs created by the developers we'll review the uh, code written by the developers then um, in coding phase uh, developers will perform unit testing integration testing you see testing is part of all the phases of software life cycle here right so more uh, here testing only starts after development in level three, but here in level four, testing is like uh, intact with all the phases of software lifecycle, all activities of software lifecycle, starting of the software development to the ending of the software development, that is through the entire software lifecycle, testing will be there in different forms. Like uh, in the beginning, it will be in the review forms for requirements design and coding phases. In coding phase, again, unit testing, integration testing will be done in the testing phase. Uh, in the after coding, right? Uh, system testing will be performed, acceptance testing will be performed, and so on. So it is involved in all the activities in software life cycle as part of level four, and also it is measured now. Okay, in all phases, in all activities of software life cycle, it is there, and each and every 
testing thing is measured here okay whether it may be reviews or it may be unit testing integration system accept everything will be measured here how much amount of testing is done is measured here which is not done in the which is not generally measured in the level 3 guys now final level of uh, tmm which projects fall into the tmm level 5 that is uh, optimization okay level optimization level here testing here on the top of level 4 guys testing process is optimized okay here till now we are performing testing guys and uh, in all activities uh, for, uh, all activities in software life cycle testing is there in different forms and we are measuring that but here testing process is optimized for level 5 so projects which fall into the level 5 tmm in that software testing process uh, is optimized guys that is improvised okay so here uh, test testing in such projects guys testing process is verified okay we will assess the testing process we'll assess the testing process and also on the top of that we'll take the measures to improvise it okay it's not just about following the testing process here we are going to assess the current testing process that is followed in the projects and with an intention of improvising it and optimizing it okay more better and better will will make it so here if you make the testing process more better and better and optimize what will happen the process will prevent the defects right the process by improvising automatically the defects will be prevented instead of just detecting the defects uh, that has been done till level 4 okay but here in level 5 since we are improvising the testing process and optimizing it the defects will get prevented okay they will not occur actually okay before we identify they don't, don't occur so it's here a uh, next level where we are stopping the defects from occurring okay prevention is better than cure kind of thing okay so here testing is performed with uh, different tools guys and also we are going to take the help of different tools here uh with an uh, which can optimize our testing okay so we are going to use different type of uh, tools which are required in our software testing process which can optimize the testing process okay so these are the five levels of tmm guys so finally to conclude guys uh, test maturity model tmm is nothing but a framework for assessing the maturity of the software testing process with an intention of improving it and uh, it's based on cmm and it has five levels level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 level 5 initial definition integration measurement and management and optimization levels so hope guys uh, you got the answer for what is test maturity model now so that's all for this session see you in the next session thank you bye